So today we are going to do a quick walk around and review of the Thunderbird 350X. So this is the new Thunderbird 350X. Watch the full video to see both the colors that is the red and the white one. The Thunderbird X is made mainly for city riders. It gets a distinctive look with vibrant colors like red and white which look very youthful and funky. It kind of looks like a custom made bike. The wheel stripes are also the same color as the bike. The colors are very funky. It looks very beautiful. Now you can see the white variant of the Thunderbird 350X. The headlamps are blacked out. Most of the body panels are now black in color which gives a very stealthy look. Among red and white, I think it looks best in the white color variant. Most of the changes are cosmetic in nature and there is no mechanical change in the bike. What is a significant change is that a Thunderbird now gets alloy wheels with tubeless tires. Royal Enfield probably thought that people are getting aftermarket alloy wheels anyway, so why not give it to them as a standard package. The seat is now better cushioned and is much more comfortable. The seat and the stitching also looks very premium. It gets new sporty grab rails and also the option to put a backrest is coming soon. Now let's come to the most significant change. See the difference between the high mountain handlebar for the older and the newer Thunderbirds. The new Thunderbird has a flatter handlebar. The instrument console is the same as the older Thunderbird. It has trip meters, odometer, tachometer and fuel indicators as well. Now let's come to the most important part. Now let's take a ride of the new Thunderbird. As I said, most of the changes are mechanical, so the bike still retains the vibrations that are trademark of Royal Enfield now. Malo apne bike start ki, mirror hilenge, meter hilega, ya tak ki aap khud bhi hiloge. I think that's why it is suited more for long rides because you are constantly getting a massage anyway. Due to some reason, the mirror is not getting fixed. So the handlebars are a little wider and a little lower than before, so that makes it a little better for the city riding because you can easily flick around the bike much better than the previous model. So as the Royal Enfield is promoting it, it is more suited for city riding because that's what they made it for. So the bike runs exactly as the previous Thunderbird apart from a little bit more maneuverable. The gear shifts are still not smooth. In fact, you actually hear the sound of gear change and you tuck it. You know that you are actually changing gear. Change ho hai. So there is nothing like a slick gearbox. It also still does not have an option of ABS in it. So the question now is why should one get it? Because it is not the most technologically advanced bike out there. And it is also a little bit hard to maintain. So the answer to that is very simple. Either you want a bullet or you don't want a bullet. There is nothing like logic. It's all based on feelings. And saying that it is made of metal and in case of an accident the other vehicle will get broken instead of the Royal Enfield. That is not a very valid argument because when you buy a bike, you don't hope that you get such an accident. Uh, then why do people buy it? The answer is that you get a 350cc bike for a decent price which will last long. It also gives an average of above 45 km per hour which is very good for a bike of this capacity. And on top of that, it gives you the feel of riding a Royal Enfield. Coming back to 350X, the bike gets a very good stance for a city ride. The ride quality of the bike is superb without a doubt. I do not feel the bad road at all. So if you ride mostly in the city, there is a much better option than the Thunderbird standard one and the classic 350 because it maneuvers very easily. It has got disc brake at both ends and it gets a much powerful headlamp setup and also the meter is more advanced compared to the other Royal Enfield bikes. So if you are a Royal Enfield fan and are looking for a bike which is good for city duty, which looks amazing and which looks very youthful, then this is a very good option from Royal Enfield. However, 
the bike is almost some 20,000 more expensive than the 350 Classic. So based on your taste and your budget, you can make an informed decision. So this is Abhishek for the lap timer. See you next time. If you like this video and want to see more videos like this, hit the like button and subscribe button. I'll see you the next time.